The first known extremely tall buildings, the Pyramids of Giza, were constructed in Egypt thousands of years ago. But the country has come a long way since the construction of pyramids. Egypt is set to unveil their newest masterpiece, the new administrative capital which is currently under construction and is making great progress. The golden shining point in the new administrative capital city is its business district, and located in the middle of the district is a magnificent complex of skyscrapers that is set to redefine the new capital skyline. When completed, the towers will rise as the third tallest skyscraper in Africa. Among its special features are sky bridges and observation decks, offering panoramic views of the new capital's landmarks. Join us today as we uncover the latest details on this amazing new mega project. Before we start don't forget to click on that subscribe button and like this video as it's the best way to support this channel. Cairo, the present capital of Egypt is one of the most crowded cities on earth. The already overcrowded capital's 22 million population is expected to double by 2050. The Egyptian government has adopted a strategic plan to build several new cities to house the country's growing population. Approximately 45 kilometers to the east of Cairo, a huge new administrative capital is currently under construction, and it will become the new administrative and financial capital of Egypt. Close to 6.5 million people will live in the new capital which spans across a total area of 700 square kilometers. The new administrative capital of Egypt will consist of a government administrative district, a diplomatic quarter, a cultural district, a central business district, and 21 residential districts. Some amenities planned for the city are a central park that spans 35 kilometers, artificial lakes, around 2,000 educational institutes, and a technology and innovation park. In addition, there will also be 660 hospitals, 1,250 mosques and churches, a 90,000-seat stadium, and 40,000 hotel rooms. A major theme park four times the size of Disneyland is included in the plans for the new capital. The entire city will be powered by 90 square kilometers of solar energy farms. An electric railway link with Cairo extending over 100 kilometers with 19 stations will provide transportation to the city's people. Plans are also underway to construct a new airport called Capital International Airport. The city is being built as a smart city with over 6,000 cameras monitoring the streets, and along with these, authorities will be using AI to monitor water use and waste management and residents will be able to submit complaints into a mobile app. In the center of the new administrative capital's golden zone is where you'll find the Nile Business City Complex. It is strategically located right in the middle of the Green River, meaning that it will be the capital of the new administrative capital. The Green River is a river-like series of large-scale urban parks that will span over 35 kilometers through the new capital. Upon completion, it will be the world's largest public park. The Green River is also strategically located on the Mohammed bin Zayed axis. It is the main transport axis linking Cairo to the new administrative capital. Located on an area of 7.8 acres, the Nile Business City is the largest private sector project in Egypt and the largest project of the administrative capital. It occupies a 200-meter wide frontage on the Green River, and its total building space exceeds that of the iconic tower, the tallest skyscraper in Egypt. Developed by Nile Real Estate Development Company, the Nile Business City will comprise of four main towers that are of equal height which are surrounded by other business towers. The tower complex is classified as the second highest skyscraper in Egypt, the highest vertical city in Africa, the third tallest tower in Africa, and the highest twin tower in Africa. The towers reach a height of 756 feet. The complex will have three main entrances through the Green River, and the towers provide a luxurious view of the green parks. This huge tower is only a few minutes away from the most important landmarks of the new administrative capital. Now Business City boasts an attractive, 
modern, and distinctive design, featuring international standards as the first building in the capital with LEED certification. These environmentally friendly specifications help improve workers' productivity within the building. The towers incorporate infrastructure at the highest level with smart systems specialized in temperature control, lighting, ventilation, and central air conditioning. The entire Nile Business City Towers will be powered by a solar energy system, and the glass facades of the skyscrapers will help with better heat insulation. A stunning view of the landscape, green spaces, and water surfaces give a sense of comfort, mental clarity, and a suitable environment for work. The towers will have 60 elevators offering panoramic views of the Green River. The Nile Business City Complex contains three podium floors and 50 floors at the top, and it also contains a garage that occupies the top of the list of the largest garages in Egypt, as it consists of five floors, with a capacity of 5,000 cars. The highest suspended walkway in Africa is found at the Nile Business City. Renderings show how the two skyscrapers in the middle of the complex are connected by two sky bridges built at different elevations. The first ever observation deck in the new capital, offering a complete view of the new capital's landmarks, is also found in the Nile Business City complex. In addition to these features, the towers will offer a range of luxury amenities, including entertainment services, restaurants, and cafes, a health club with the latest fitness equipment, and swimming pools. The mall houses the largest cinema hall equipped with the latest technology. A comprehensive security system with high-resolution cameras and ample security personnel is in place at the complex, ensuring safety around the clock. Currently, the project is offering a variety of unit types. They are commercial units, medical units, hotel units, and administrative units. State-of-the-art meeting rooms and a uniquely designed heritage lounge for VIP guests are available at the administrative units. The commercial units can accommodate an influx of 25,000 employees in the towers. The price per square meter at Nile Business City starts from 65,000 Egyptian pounds and the highest price per square meter is 310,000 Egyptian pounds. The highlight of the new administrative capital will be a mega-tall structure called the Obelisco Capitale, which will become the tallest building in the world once finished. The concept for this structure was first put forth in 2018, when it was included in Egypt's Grand 2030 vision. Standing at a height of 1 kilometer, the skyscraper will have 165 floors, which is two more floors than the Burj Khalifa. The tower's architecture is greatly inspired by ancient Egyptian history. The Obelisco Capitale will resemble a pharaonic obelisk, which is a thin four-sided structure with a pyramid-like top. According to the designers, the proportions of the Obelisco Capitale Tower were emulated carefully from the original obelisk dimensions, and unlike the traditional monolithic obelisks, which are made of only one type of stone, this modern structure may be a hybrid made of a variety of materials. The pattern on the facade of this building is inspired by the lotus flower design used in the Pharaonic era. The lotus flower is thought to have played a significant role in ancient Egyptian civilization. This design element is not just for decorative purposes, it also has an environmental concept behind it. The design contains louvres, which rotate according to the sun's inclination, reducing heat throughout the day. The Obelisco Capitale will have a water canal added around it that will resemble the famed Nile River to make it appear even more grand. The Obelisco Capitale is expected to be completed by 2030. By the time this project is finished, the gigantic building will have cost somewhere around $3 billion. Despite Egypt's ambition to bring this megaproject to life, the Obelisco Capitale remains a vision as the project has not been officially approved by the government yet. What are your thoughts on the rise of megaprojects in Egypt? Leave a comment below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.